Hello everyone, I welcome you all for SVK tutorials. So in this video, I am continuing with uh, the solutions of uh, model question paper of question number 6. I am going to solve uh, question A, B, C. So here is uh, the question, uh, explain the following uh, terms for uh, standard error, statistical hypothesis, critical region of a statistical test, test of significance. So if I move on to the first uh, definition of a standard error so this is what are the uh, definitions is the standard deviation of the sample distribution is called standard error the standard deviation of the sample distribution is called standard error so statistical hypothesis is nothing but an hypothesis called uh, is an assumption which may be true or false if we just assume that uh, the hypothesis may be true or false such hypothesis called statistical hypothesis when we come to critical region in the previous video only i have said uh, what is a critical region so we can refer that uh, definition the same uh, definition i have been applied here so you need to go with uh, follow with the definition here you can go with this note down the definition properly and write it down in your examination properly so test of significance the process uh, which helps us uh, to decide about the acceptance or rejection of the hypothesis is called test of significance so these are the four uh, definitions we have in question number 6 moving on to question number 6b a die was thrown 9000 times a die was thrown 9000 times and a throw of 5 or 6 was obtained 3240 times on the uh, assumption of the, uh, random throwing do the data indicate an unbiased die at 1% level of significance so here they have provided uh, uh, how many times the die has been thrown and when we uh, when we consider a die die consists of six faces out of six faces we are obtaining only three or sorry five or six so therefore while uh, finding out uh, p we can have 2 by 6 so since we are have getting only two faces that is either 5 or 6 we are getting so only two faces out of six faces 2 by 6 which will be equal to 1 by 3 that is how we can calculate the value of p probability of success was obtained 3 2 4 0 times that is what x value and n values 9000 so on the assumption of random throwing we need, we consider uh, normal variant z equal to x minus uh, np divided by square root of npq finding out that we can get the solution so let us suppose that the die is unbiased therefore the probability of throwing 5 or 6 with one die is what p equal to 2 by 6 which will be equal to 1 by 3 so once we got the value of uh, p we can easily find out the value of q by substituting q equal to 1 minus p so we are going to get q value as 2 by 3 and given n equal to 9000 so now the observed uh, value of success is given by 3240 that is uh, named as x so therefore x minus np is given by 240 x minus np after substitution we are going to get the value of x minus np as 240 square root of npq finding out uh, standard deviation square root of npq by substituting the values of npq i am going to get the value as 44.721 so then considering the normal variant that is z is equal to x minus np divided by square root of npq so substituting the, uh, the values whatever we have get uh, the above so we are going to get the value of z as 5.367 so at 1% uh, level, the critical value is 2.58, which is greater than the critical value. So therefore, we can say that thus the die is biased. So therefore, the hypothesis is rejected at 1% level of significance. This is how we need to solve the question number 6b. Moving on to question number 6c. Uh, Those who are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do subscribe to my YouTube channel for updating uh, the upcoming model question paper solution 
in a sample of uh, 600 men from a certain city, four, four, uh, 450 are found smokers. In another sample of 900 men from another city, 450 are smokers. Do the data indicate that these cities are significantly different with respect to the habit of smoking among men test at 5% uh, significance level? So, you know the uh, at 5% uh, level of significance, the value of 5% is 1.96. If you get the value less than that 1.96, we can say that it is accepted. If it is greater than 1.96, we can say that it is rejected. Here also I need to find the value of uh, Z. So, given here the given problem is of uh, samples of uh, two proportions. So, we can consider the proportions, consider the proportions and samples. So, first sample is given by N1 that is 600 and another sample is given by 900 uh, denote that as N2 and uh, correspondingly the samples of uh, 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 proportion has been given P1 and P2 that is <coughs> out of uh, 450 smokers, uh, uh, 450 smokers out of 600 men. So, calculate that value. So, we are going to get a P1 value 450 divided by 600 we will get P1 value. Similarly, P2 value is uh, 450 divided by 900. We are going to get a point, uh, point 0.5. So, then define the null hypothesis. What is null hypothesis? There is no significant difference with respect to the habit of smoking among men. P1 is equal to P2. So, similarly, alternate hypothesis will be P1 is not equal to P2. Then, after defining null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis, go with uh, finding the proportion sample proportion that is uh, given by the formula p1 n1 plus p2 n2 divided by n1 plus n2 substituting all the values we are going to get the values of p that is 0.6 just be careful while calculating this uh, values in your calculator and calculate properly so after getting the value of uh, p uh, the you can find the value of q 1 minus uh, p Substitute the value of P, we will get the value of Q as 0.4. So, then find out standard error. The standard error is given by the formula square root of PQ times of 1 by N1 plus 1 by N2. When we can use this kinds of uh, formula means when they have not uh, provided the means of or proportions of large samples. So, uh, large population, if they are not given on large population. Uh, as, as the problem is on sample proportions, so we are going to solve by using this kind of formula. So, if they provide a, a large population uh, proportion, then we can make use of the formula, uh, the difference P1 minus P2 divided by square root of P1 Q1 divided by N1 plus P, P2 Q2 divided by N2. We can use this formula when they have provided proportions of large population proportions of large population then proportion will be given p1 then you can find out q1 and also p2 will be given you can find out uh, q2 so like that we can find out so here they have given uh, sample uh, proportions of sample so we will consider the formula square root of pq times of 1 by n1 plus 1 by n2 Substituting this, we are going to get a sample error as 0 0.05258. Substituting this value in Z, that is the formula is what? P1 minus P2 divided by square root of PQ times of 1 by N1 plus 1 by N2. This is what the difference I told you. When we can use this uh, formula and uh, this formula, you need to know. You need to know when we need to use these uh, two kinds of formula. So, if the proportions uh, is of large population then you make use of this kind of formula when the population is of uh, samples uh, then we can make use of this kind of formula so here uh, z is given by uh, 0.25 divided by 0 0.0258 simplifying this we are going to get 9.68 which is greater than the critical value called 1.96 thus we can say that uh, the null hypothesis is rejected at 5% level of significance this is how to solve the question number 6C. So, this is what uh, the questions we have in uh, model question paper 2 uh, from module 3. 
if you have any doubts you can put a comment i will clear your doubts thank you all for watching this video do subscribe to my youtube channel and share this video with your friends thank you all